Hey, I got Hello Cooper here with a bit of a pack opening video. Yesterday I got my packs in from London Players Guild, the tournament that we uploaded a couple of weeks ago where we got second place and we got 12 packs here to open up right quick. I decided I wanted to do an experimentation uh, with this pack opening, so I took my handy dandy weigher my bob and decided to weigh the packs just to find out is it possible to weigh packs? Obviously, I don't advocate weighing packs in for international buyers. That's not really a possibility anyway, because, you know, we have to buy full boxes instead, typically. But, you know, just as a potential warning to people who might be selling loose packs on eBay. So the reason there's two stacks here is we've got all of these, which you might be able to see, are about 13.21 grams. And we've got these two over here, which are more like 13.4 grams. So we're gonna open all these first and then see if these two have the good stuff in them as it were. There could be some things that Bandai is using to defeat pack wings, such as I know Pokemon uses the more heavy here, heavier code cards. Uh, there are the insert cards, which we'll go ahead and start opening the packs now. I wish these things were better, where you can just rip them straight down. Unfortunately, they tend to snag for me. I don't, I don't have the touch, unfortunately, for them, and they end up not so great. Uh, but we've got some Digitamon going on. Digitamon, Kabuterimon, love it. Blastfire, a Flarizamon, Garamon, and the rare is a Booster Tie. All right, cool. Yeah, here is the segment half of a memory gauge, and this is much lighter card stock. So potentially this one, there's also a player two variation we might see that could be potentially used as a counterweight of. Heading. Going. I'm just gonna go through these like such. Actually, I'm gonna use scissors and open them from the bottom. I think probably gonna be my preferred way. Go about doing that a little bit, get a bit more quickly. We got some hearts attack. Golmon, go Burymon. Favorite dimension scissors. Yes, got some Kawagamon. Love it. And an Izzy. All right. Now I did not get any Mimis or Tanamons in my boxes. So. <laughs> I would love it if I could get at least one of those, please. Would be great. That'd be awesome. I got plenty of Izzy's. Plenty of Izzy's. Uh, Goemon. Holy Wave. Akatrimon. Armadillomon. Loader Leomon. Chunky Boy. And I believe this is actually my fourth copy of Symphony, so that's pretty cool. My boxes were very yellow heavy. That's not... I almost call them code cards. <laughs> that's memory gauges. Uh, so as you can see, these two were different. Uh, the player two one is light blue, and the player one is dark blue. So it uh, and I pre-weighed them all. I didn't want didn't want to waste time uh, weighing them all, but they weighed pretty much the same. It looks like uh, we got option card, boring storm, gorilla mon, dark tyrannal mon, horn buster, Rurumon, and a mat. All right, that's a lot of tamers and no memes. <laughs> Hate to see it. Uh, I'm good on Izzy. Believe me, I'm good. Good. Right, next pack. Got Veggie Gang. Uh, Howling Nail Crusher, whichever you prefer. Professor Agumon, Caesarmon, Metal Greymon, and a Gigacross Freak. Alright. Again, I'm not expecting anything too flashy in this first. Uh, Stack in this first stack of packs. I'm expecting the good stuff to be right here. We'll see if that holds any water. Ripamon, Brave Tornado, Gobrimon, D Scissor, Yagamon, Testament. Not a fan of Testament, sorry to say. It's got Seraphimon on it though, so that's cool. That's always cool to see. Next pack up. Got Kokuamon, Nuclear Laser. I feel like this has fallen off recently from the initial hype. Pixiemon, Metal Tyrannomon. Finally! <laughs> Bless me. <laughs> got a Mimi at last. Alright, love it. Sweet. And also a Mega Capitarium Pretty cool. Pretty cool. The Mimi curse is broken. The Mimi curse is broken. Alright, got my favorite ultimate, Okuomon. Cockatrimon. Golden slash Heaven's Ripper. Frigimon slash Andromon to go with it. And a Brave Shield. Not too bad. Not too bad. Holy Espada, Blade of the True, both those names are so cool. Mushroomon, Elekmon, Holy Wave, Wanyamon, and another Yokomon. Say another Yokomon, I already have a few. Alright, so expecting just a regular rare from this, and so it's gonna be interesting to me to see if we do get the good stuff in the last two packs, or if it's just 
a sad day for everyone, really. Uh, we got Monzemon, Gomamon, B, Breath Arrow slash Nova Blast, Boy, Muchomon, Ferdramon, and a Mistymon. Alright. So, at least I got one Mimi, so I'm happy about that. Very happy about that. The rest of the rares, I don't even really know what I'm looking for. Perfect one. Another fourth cop. I don't think you would run for Symphony, but maybe. Alright, so these last two, I am kind of expecting to see some good stuff in here. I showed you the weights earlier, and you'll just have to trust me that I weighed both of them and they were the same. Alright, we've got Ichitamamon, Uchomon, Gravity Crush, the Allmon, Uncommon Petermon, and... Sure, yes! Yes, 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 yes! Just who I wanted to see. My guy, Grand Kuagamon. I swear, they better not make this guy obsoleted or power crept in set 2, although I've we've uh, we just got set 2, some of the early reveals from V-Jump, I believe, this morning, and uh, the Algomon looks insane. But I am so glad we get a second Grand Kuagamon. I was definitely going to order some more singles for this guy, so that's great to see. And thus far, looks like the, uh, the case is true. I should definitely uh, cut that audio bit out, because that was me opening up a uh, pack right next to the microphone. Uh, anyway, uh, we've got him in a sleeve. Awesome. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, and another Petermon's pretty good, too. Alright, so let's see if the theory holds water. And uh, there are, in fact, no countermeasures. Now, I don't really know how big pack weighing is in Japan. Maybe, you know, they keep them all behind the counter, so like, there's, it's never really a, a, an issue. In Japan, that's distinctly possible. Again, obviously, there's no way that you know international consumers can really take advantage of it. But there was, there is a potential international consumers could get scammed by it. So, you know, bottom line, don't buy loose packs. Buy full boxes. Because your guaranteed ratios anyway. It's really good. Anyway, Lurizamon, Nuclear Laser, Vegemon, Repamon, Monmon, and sure enough, there is. I think this is my third actually booster Metal Garurumon. So there you go. Not too bad. Very happy we got another Grand Kuagamon. Was hoping to get one of the super rares that I was missing, such as Omnimon. Would have been nice, but got a Grand Kuagamon. Can't really complain. That's one I'm not going to have to order. So, awesome. <laughs> awesome. Unfortunately, no parallels, but uh, I will definitely take it. And, yeah, I mean, half a box, 24 packs, and got two super rares. I, you know, at least we didn't get... Didn't get uh, fouled over on that whatsoever, and some pretty decent race to the Mimi as well. So thanks again to London Players Guild for sponsoring the tournaments on Octagon. And the future tournaments, not quite as heavy on the prize support, uh, but, you know, making do with what we got, and hey, I'm just glad to have free tournaments to play in. So if you're interested in the game, certainly go check out all the links in the description, and maybe get started playing with us over on the Discord would be awesome. And yeah, I'm happy about getting a second Grand Quagwam. Thanks for watching, guys. We might... Maybe do some more of these if you like them for... I might order might order another box of set 1, and probably a box of set 2 as well. It's looking pretty hype. It's got Gilm Online, which I'm a big fan of. I also really like the Geo Graham Online, which was just revealed to be yellow. So that's pretty interesting as well. Thanks for watching. See you then. Later days.